Hi, I'm Antonio Centeno. I'm the founder of Real Men Real Style. $100 for socks? I know some of you guys are thinking, Antonio, are you crazy? Actually, not some of you. Most of you all are thinking, Antonio, I would never spend that kind of money. In fact, I'm always looking for the $10 and get six pairs or even maybe you're saying you know where you can get a better deal than that. Gentlemen, today I'm going to give you five reasons why you should consider spending a bit more to get what you want when it comes to socks. And in those five reasons, I'm going to start off with a story. So, this is actually brought to you by blacksocks.com. And I really like this company and why it grabbed my attention is the story of the founder. His name's Sammy. He's from Switzerland. And he was talking about he was in going to a business meeting. And this was with some high ranking uh, company executives. He was a young upcoming marketing exec. And they meet at a tea house. And as is customary, you needed to remove your shoes. And all of a sudden, he realized he had a pair of socks on. And these are all, you know, we're talking about, they're talking about a million dollar deal here. And all he can think about is that his toe is sticking out of his socks on both pairs. And he's like wondering, do I have time to run home? How can I, I mean, he's just worried about this and he's trying to hide it. He's all, I mean, he should be thinking about the deal. He should be thinking about how can he better serve his customer? How can he make this deal happen? Instead, he's thinking about his toe that it's creeping out. And the worst part is supposedly, I think somebody did mention to him after the meeting, yeah, you should have seen, you know, your toe was sticking right out. And Samuel went back and he thought about, God, you know, something so small, how did it sabotage my entire night? And I think that's the key point, gentlemen, is Socks may seem like a small thing, but think of it like a chain. A chain is only as strong as its weakest link. We talk about sweaters, suits, shoes, dress shirts, all these other things. I talk about presentation. It's about becoming well-rounded. And I'm not saying that you need to go out and spend $100. In fact, I'm not even going to highlight. There are socks out there that do cost almost $100. But the socks I'm going to talk about today, and by the way, wait, Black Socks has some great deals, which I'll be talking about at the end of this. But I want you guys to think about the five reasons why you would possibly pay more and what to look for when you're out there buying socks. So number one is fit. A lot of the socks you're going to see out there, gentlemen, they're made to fit any and all types of feet. You want to avoid those. I would pay a premium for a company that can help get me the exact size I want and actually zero in on that versus, yeah, you know, I mean, we have, they're from size five to size 14. You know. Obviously, you're going to wear a different size sock. You can put someone with the, those different feet into the same sock, but it's not going to work great for either man. So, it's worth paying a premium for a company like Black Socks that actually has individual sizes. In addition, it's going to stay in place. Have you ever noticed that if you get one of those tube socks that's made strictly on a machine and it's very cheap, that you pull the thing up and it's sliding down even after the first time you've bought it, definitely after the first wear? Fit is important. It's going to make it feel more comfortable. You're going to want to avoid blisters. And that leads to the second point, which is performance. Now, I've been around guys that have spent $20 to $30 to $40 for socks. You know why they're spending that money? For performance. They're getting what they want out of the socks. And these are hikers, these are runners. When I was in the Marines, we would go on a 20, 25 mile forced march. As a battalion, we would all get together. And I can tell you, that is excruciating. Uh, it's, yeah, it, it is. You've got 70 pounds on your back and you're out there with all these hard chargers. A lot of the guys, especially those gunnies, first sergeants, you know, they're, they're a little bit older and they're having to keep up with these guys that are 21, 22 years old, in the best shape of their life. And they're looking for all the little edges. And one of the things you don't want to slow you down is literally your feet rubbing raw and bleeding. And so you would pay for perform, performance socks. And that is something worth paying a premium for. Now let's talk about long, longevity. So, wouldn't it, I mean, have you ever bought socks and literally after you've washed them the first time, they're falling apart? It is worth paying for premium. And there's a number of things that you can tell if it is a quality sock. First off, let's look at the stitching. If it says it is hand sewn on the toe area, that is a great sign. Hand sewn socks on the toe area. Okay, so if it's straight up and it's sewn at the edge, that's a machine. And those are not going to be great quality. Hand sewn usually is moved back going across the top and they'll oftentimes say they're hand sewn. Uh, and the reason that's great is they can tighten it up, they can inspect it, and that is always going to be stronger and more comfortable than a machine sewn toe. Uh, in addition, you want to make sure that the color, they're using a good dye. Many socks 
actually start to lose all their color after four or five washes, especially if you're using warm water. So by using a higher quality dye, and again, I'm using black socks, here's an example. They helped me build this out because they actually have all of this. Now, so we talked about the dye, we talked about actually the stitching. Let's talk about the quality of the yarn. So using a high quality cotton, not all you guys are gonna be able to examine the yarn strength and all that other stuff, but you can rest assured if they're using probably the stitching on the toe, they're probably using a decent quality yarn. But if a company is using a high quality yarn, like a Pima cotton, they're going to, you know, they're going to announce it. Another thing is the reinforcement of the toe and heel. A lot of companies say this, but you want to actually make sure that they have double reinforced the toe and the heel. Now convenience. This is the fourth point and I think it's worth paying for. What I like about Black Socks, again, is they've got this Sockscription service. You've probably heard me talk about this because I've been with this company for a number of years. What I like is every, you know, probably every couple months, I'm getting socks delivered to me. I don't have to go out there and look for them. But if you're gonna be buying socks locally, going into a menswear store, you're probably gonna pay a little bit of a convenience fee. Another thing to think about is looking online. And there are a few other companies out there that you can check out, but convenience is something that you will pay a premium for. But I think it's worth it, especially like with black socks. I like not having to think about it because my time's valuable and I don't want to be out there going to the store. In fact, I haven't been to many of the local stores for a long time buying anything. I pretty much have everything just delivered to me. It's just easier that way. Uh, yarn type and actually more material types. You're going to pay extra if you're going to get something of very high quality. We're talking wool and wool blends. Oftentimes they will bring in some synthetic material simply to add a bit of elasticity and stretch in certain areas. But if you start to see more than five to 10 percent of lycra or spandex or some of these other things be careful uh, you do not want to have something that's primarily uh, a polyester fiber or anything like anything that's a you know a, a synthetic fabric mostly you want to avoid those those are very cheap and are not going to feel good on your feet Cotton is the most common. There are different levels of cotton. I've talked about, you know, there's super Pima cotton, Egyptian cotton as well, but you want to be looking for something that is, has a longer strand and is strong. Most companies are going to advertise this. Uh, another thing, cashmere silk. So if you think about something like that, cashmere silk socks are oftentimes going to be in luxury dress socks, things like that. Okay. So I've talked about the five points. Now let me give you a bonus one, customer service. So one thing I really like about Black Sox, and I had a customer where he was bought into my style system, and I told him about Black Sox because I talk about it in my style system, and he wrote me back a letter, and he's like, Antonio, I love what Lori's doing over at Black Sox. I had a pair that you know I had an issue with. I felt they were maybe a bit defective, or maybe I was walking around my house and they tore. I think it was walking around the house and they tore. But in any case, he sent them. He said sent Lori an email, said, Hey. Is there a way I can get a replacement? I just got these. Lori, no problem. Send them a replacement. Guys, try doing that with a larger company. And that's one of the things I really push here at Real Men Real Style is work with companies that are willing to work with you and have real human beings behind them. Okay, so go check out blacksocks.com. If nothing else, I check out their funky socks. I really like these packages they have of uh, six funky socks. They would make great gifts. Another thing to check out is their smarter socks. I've never seen anyone doing this, but they actually have a chip in some of their socks. As far as I know, they're not tracking you. They're actually using that. You can use an app and with that chip, you can actually easily match socks. They've also got a, you can measure the blackness of your socks. Guys, you can go anywhere with that comment, but I, I like an app that you can actually you know, take a picture of your socks and actually measure the blackness. That's a good point because it talks about quality and you want something that's going to be dark that if you ever find yourself in a position where you have to take your shoes off, you're, let's say you're hanging out with your, your girlfriend's parents and they're Slavic, uh, such as what happened with me, and you walk into a home like this and hey, you're getting into slippers. Well, wouldn't it make sense to have a nice pair of socks instead of something that is showing the world that you don't know how to take care of your toenails. And if that's the issue, go check out that other company, Zamberg, which I've recommended. Guys, that's it. Go check out the article at Real Men Real Style. I go into a lot more detail and I've always got some extra bonuses over there. So go check it out. Take care. See you later.